guys hey everyone welcome back to my channel or if you're new here welcome to the channel on this channel we try to cover all things reality tv news and gossip trending topics and here lately we have been talking about the situation with mama june as you guys know mama june's oldest daughter anna chickety cardwell she was diagnosed with cancer last year adrenal carcinoma just i mean weeks into her finding out that she had it it progressed from like stage two to stage four. She found out that the cancer that she had was terminal and her chances of making it like past five years were very, very, very slim. Now, after Anna found out she had cancer, she ended up marrying her boyfriend that she had actually been living with for a few years. Um, she has been with Eldridge since 2019, I do believe. They got married in March after her diagnosis in January. Her and Eldris lived together. Um, Anna was previously married to Michael Cardwell, which is where Anna's last name, Anna Cardwell, comes from. I mean, she's literally known as Anna Cardwell, Anna Chickadee Cardwell. That is due to her ex-husband, Michael Cardwell. Now, when Anna and Michael got together, Anna had a daughter named Caitlin, who was eight months old. Michael took Anna and Caitlin in and raised Caitlin as his own child, a thousand percent. Caitlin actually didn't even know that Michael wasn't her dad until she got a little bit older to understand that Michael wasn't her father. She called him, she called him dad. That's who she knew as her father. Now, when Anna and Michael got a divorce, Anna and Michael worked out a arrangement with the children. They split everything down the middle. They're Divorce was very civil. They used the same attorney. There was no bickering back and forth. They split up. They were living in Alabama. She actually contacted Sugar Bear. And this speaks a lot for me. Um, when Anna and her husband, Michael, decided to get a divorce, Anna contacted Sugar Bear. She didn't call her mom and say, hey, mom, uh, me and Michael was going to get a divorce. Can I come stay with you? Can me and Caitlin come stay with you? She actually contacted Sugar Bear and said, hey, I'm going to be going through a divorce. I need somewhere to stay, and I need someone to come help me move. And Sugar Bear and Jennifer left that night and drove to Alabama with a U-Haul truck, got Caitlin, and with help from Michael, too. Like, Michael helped them as well and loaded Caitlin and Anna step up and brought Caitlin and Anna back to Georgia. And Anna and Caitlin lived with Sugar Bear and Jennifer for, like, four months. Now, after that, she moved out, got out on her own, um, but yeah, their divorce was very civil, used the same attorney, they split everything down the middle, and they agreed on 50-50 that he would get the kids for a week, she would get the kids for a week. He would pay for their schooling, they went to a private school, um, he would pay for things like glasses and things like that, you know. So the only father that Caitlin has known has been Michael, up until Eldridge came into the picture, and then, you know, they were living with Eldridge. Eldridge became like a stepdad figure, stepdad figure to Caitlin. So like, whereas Caitlin is concerned, literally, Michael is father, Eldridge is stepdad, you know what I'm saying? But unfortunately, whenever um, Anna got really sick, she did end up moving in with June. She lived with June for three weeks and a day. And what happened in those three weeks, I, I don't know. June keeps telling people that Anna said on camera that she wanted June to keep Caitlin in the event that she passed away. But you got, I have talked to several people. Why hasn't Sugar Bear and Jennifer helped Michael with this? And we don't know if they haven't helped Michael. You know, Michael has been very quiet and we haven't heard anything from him. So we don't know who's helping Michael. We don't know if June's family's helping Michael. Like, we really don't know. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So, um, the last three weeks of Anna's life, she moved in with June. I have talked to a few people who told me that Anna made it clear that when she passed, that Michael was supposed to get the girls with Eldridge having visitation. Um, I was also told that this was typed up, that it, Anna did have it typed up, that the girls would go with Michael and then Eldridge have visitation, but that she never got the point, got the opportunity to sign that uh, you know, her will, I guess you could say, or I don't know if you would call it a will. From my understanding, she just has something typed up. But here's the thing. When you get something like cancer, if you have something drawn up, if it gets to the point where you're on medication, legally, you're not allowed to sign. 
because you're under the influence of something that can alter your way of thinking, right? So I don't know if it just happened so quickly that she got to the point where she couldn't sign it or if she thought she had longer than she did. I really don't know. I don't know, you know, um, why she didn't get to that point of signing it. But from my understanding, I was told she did have something typed up and it just wasn't signed. I've talked to several people who have said, listen, this is known, like Anna made it clear she did not want her kids split up and that she wanted them to go to Michael because Michael is their father and she wanted elders to have visitation. Now, June has said on her TikTok lives, because people have been asking June about this, like, why are the girls split up? They should be together. They just lost their mom. And June's like, Anna wanted me to have Caitlin. Anna wanted me to have Caitlin. And people have asked her, like, well, when? You know, when did she say this? Do you have any proof that she said this? And I have read places that June said that Anna said it on the show, that it'll be on the show, that Anna mentions it on the show. And the only thing I can say is if Anna did say this on the show, I'm going to be completely taken aback because of all the people that I've talked to have, who have said different. And it's going to make me wonder what influence June had on Anna in the last few years of last few weeks of her life. And if Anna was, even Eldridge said in the interview that Eldridge did, he said the last few like weeks of Anna's life, she was in a lot of pain. So she was on a lot of pain medication for the pain that she was on. Either way, what we know is that when the girls, uh, when Anna passed away, when Anna passed away, Kylie went with Michael and then Caitlin stayed with June. And from my understanding, from what my sources are telling me, Michael, you know, tried to get Caitlin as well because that was his understanding is that he would get both girls. So he tried to get Caitlin and was told no, which we know that it was a week and two days after Anna passed away that Michael filed uh, a suit against June to get custody of Caitlin. So that broke that Michael filed for custody and, you know, he's taken June for custody. And then June, she ended up going and filing for uh, temporary custody, like immediate temporary custody. And in her filing, she said that to her knowledge, there's nobody else that would be interested in having custody. There's nobody else that would come before her with custody. There's no itch, there's no other interested party that would be interested to ha in having custody of Caitlin, which in my opinion, and the people that I've talked to, they're like, that is bull. June knows 100% that Michael wants custody of Caitlin. Like she knows this. So for her to put that in the court documents, that proves that she lied. Like she's lying about that, right? So either way, the past few weeks since Anna passed away, there's been like this divide on social media. People that's like, the girl should not be split up. There's no way Anna would have wanted her daughter split up. And let me tell you guys, the teaser for the upcoming season just came out. And what we know is Anna's going to be on it. Um, to my knowledge, her girls will probably be on there a little bit as well. And I'm talking to people that have given me a little bit of insight into like Kylie. And she is just so like, innocent and upset and confused you know Anna died on Kylie's birthday and Kylie has lost her mom and she's lost her sister they just celebrated their first Christmas without their mom and they weren't even together Kylie is at her dad's where she doesn't have other siblings so she's at her dad's alone on Christmas morning and Caitlin's with June and Pumpkin and all of them but they're not together and to me, that just doesn't sit well with me. And I just can't imagine why June would think that this would be in the best interest of Caitlyn to be with her. I'm also being told that June has been spoiling Caitlyn, like left and right, buying her anything that she wants. I mean, they went to Disney for Christmas. So, you know, that may be if Caitlyn is like, I want to stay with, with Gigi, that might be why. You know, that might be one reason why, it, because she has literally been bought and i was actually watching an episode of mama june today where mama june had gotten sober she was living in florida with gino and pumpkin and alana was going to go see her for the first time and when they got there june had all the stuff she had bought ella a bunch of stuff she had bought the girls a bunch of stuff and they were like oh my god here she goes trying to buy our love again it's like a known thing that june tries to buy their love you know so i'm not shocked to hear that that's what she's doing with caitlin she's trying to by Caitlin's love. And I feel like if she, you know, uh, splurges on her and gives her everything that she wants, 
then it becomes down to it. And Caitlin has to go before a judge and the judge says, well, who do you want to live with? Caitlin might be like, I want to live with Gigi because, you know, she's being spoiled so much. Um, so last night, um, I was told, oh my goodness, um, Pumpkin and June were on a live and Josh went off on Caitlin. And uh, that basically it was for she broke a glass and then he went off on her again because she woke the twins up. And listen, we've heard Josh go off before. You know, I used to think that Josh was like just this cool, calm, collective, like stand in the background, just all like all around nice guy. But if you follow them on TikTok, you will see that's not the case. He is very vocal. He will be vocal when he's irritated. It doesn't matter if you're on a TikTok live. Is he, if he's mad, you're going to know it. He will cuss you, everyone around you. He will cuss his kids. He will threaten his kids and all of this. You know what I'm saying? Um, I did see that too, Shannon. But I do have one of the clips. Um, on, on Reddit, there was a lot said. And I will, I'll read some of the stuff to you guys. But I did get one of the clips, okay? So we're going to watch the first clip of where um, he was mad at Caitlin. So they're in an Airbnb because they decided to go to Disney for Christmas. Mind you, that would mean that Caitlin and Kylie would not be able to see each other for Christmas because, well, they wouldn't be around to see each other for Christmas. They are all in an Airbnb. So it is June, Justin, Caitlin, Pumpkin, Josh, all of Pumpkin and Josh's kids, Alana and Draylen. Um, Someone said that Jessica said on a TikTok live that her and um, her little family wasn't going to go because they couldn't afford to go. But surely that's not the case because I know June and them have plenty enough money to like invite Jessica along and be like, here, this is our this is our Christmas present to you guys. We're bringing y'all along with us so we can be a you know a family. We can all you know make these memories as a family. I don't know if that's why they didn't go. That's just what someone said. So I don't know. But anyways, you guys, we're going to watch this clip. They're all standing in an Airbnb together, and Caitlin accidentally broke a wine glass, and Josh yells at her. Okay, so let's watch. Uh, also, trigger warning, there's going to be car Carson on here. I did add closed captioning and stuff like that. So, and, oh, yeah, somebody said it was probably a pay vacation. You know, thank you, Kayla, so much for the super, super sticker. I do appreciate that so much. So. Someone, they were saying that, like, someone sent them, like, tickets or something to Disney for Caitlyn. Um, but if they're filming for the show, production may have footed the bill for this. Because from my understanding, when you're on your reality TV, if you take any, like, vacations or anything, production will pay for it as long as they can film it. So I do wonder if this is being paid for by the network or not, because if so, then the money they're claiming they're putting towards it from like donations and then people giving them tickets, that's probably not what it went, went to. Okay, so uh, thank you so much, Kayla, for the super secret. Let's go ahead and let's watch this little clip and then we'll talk more about it. A cup broke. Uh-uh. Well, stop fucking fucking around. When did the cup break? Yes, ma'am. Throw it away. Caitlin, take your ass away from the seat. Yeah, don't, no, no, no. That shit this morning. Never even move the cups around. No wonder the bitch broke. You can't leave shit alone. Don't sit down and put your damn hands under your ass. Don't touch nothing else. Damn, y'all can fuck up. We are going to the parks tomorrow and the next day. Fuck up, a, fuck up a metal ball bearing with a rubber mallet. Not really yelling at her. She broke a cup. Like she, she's been pouring cups into cups, and these cups are like her ass was over so here the same thin ass wine glass. It's a said, thin glass. I said, Caitlin. I said, you know, if you fuck up and you touch the sink wrong, it'll break, right? Yeah. She's like, then I'll just leave it alone. That was this morning. Look, she's over here now. She done broke the sheet. The wine glass is very. And ain't nobody yelling. But we don't soft parent over here neither. I'm not gonna give you just crackers and cheese every time you make a mistake. Definitely not. And breaking somebody else's shit is a mistake. Isn't that right, Caitlin? Caitlin, bro, over here fucking around. Be look. Yeah. You're behind, guys. 
what you saw, parent, that's on you. If, it, if you're offended by it, I can't help Because I can't tell you how many times I done cussed at my own fucking kids. You know, I've already I've already cussed at my own fucking kids. I promise you that. She was doing the same shit with a bubble gun. Okay. So really quickly, as you guys seen, she broke a glass. It was an accident. Apparently she was playing with the wine glasses earlier that day and he told her to stop. And now that they're back from like Disney, she's playing with them again. I don't know why wine glasses are so like interesting to kids, but like my daughter used to love to drink out of the wine glasses, you know what I'm saying? And drink great future grapefruit juice and, and apple juice out of the wine glasses. So I don't know if maybe she was just kind of like enamored by the wine glasses and, and was playing with them. But either way, she accidentally broke one, right? She is um eleven. She's eleven years old, and her mama died less than three weeks ago. Less than three weeks ago. Her whole life was flipped upside down. Her mom passed away from cancer. And, you know, in a matter of a year, her life changed drastically. She went from living with her mom, her stepdad, going to spend every other week with her dad, living with her younger sister, to her mom getting cancer, losing all her hair, undergoing treatment, hearing the news that her mom was not going to make it much longer, moving in with her grandmother, who she's literally been estranged with. Caitlin has been estranged from her grandmother, June, for over half of her life. Over half of her life. I mean, she was estranged from June for literally, like, probably eight out of the 11 years, right? So she moves in with June. Um, sorry, I'm texting my husband. Okay, um, just to let him know that one of the kids needs something. So, oh, Al, thank you so much for the memberships. I appreciate that so much. I don't know who all got the memberships, but thank you so much, App, for um, gifting the memberships. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, her life has been flipped upside down, so I can't imagine, like, any way that she may be acting within the next six months. You know, who knows? We, we don't know. She was married, so I wonder what legal rights Eldridge has to Anna or to the kid. And a lot of people's like, oh, not a big deal. You know, Kirsten, not a big deal. But I probably beg to differ. Like, cursing in front of your kids, not that big of a deal. But cursing at your kids, to your kids, calling them a B-I-T-C-H, I do think that's different. Can Michael use this clip in court? Absolutely. Absolutely, Michael can use this clip in court. Because you want to know what it shows? It shows that June is not going to stand up and tell anybody, hey, don't talk to her that way. June will sit back and allow Josh, who has no, who is not related to her at all by blood. I mean, that's her uncle. But as far as like blood related, they're not related. So it's going to show that June will sit back and allow someone to yell and curse at her. It's going to show also that she admits to cursing at her own children. It's going to show that she admits that. You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, he can absolutely use it in court. Dude, I don't know. I literally just went in the house and told my whole family I'm going to be doing live. And now everybody is calling a message to me and coming out here. Okay. So, um, Here's the thing. They are on a live. They're on live like 24-7. June, Justin, which I if that's a part of their income, I get it. Um, but I feel like they're not showing Caitlin any attention. She's just kind of in the background of their live streams or she's doing the live streams with them. And their language is so foul on these live streams. And I know there's some people that curse in front of their kids and that's whatever. But when you're talking about having your P-U-S-S-Y or your D-I-C-K Literally, June did that the other day. Literally, like a week ago, before they left to go to Disney, June was on a live, and she said, oh, some of y'all haters are just mad because y'all ain't had y'all's P-U-S-S-Y, like, are your D-I-C-Ks. And literally, Caitlin was right there. And that also can be used um, in court. It can literally prove. Thank you so much, Ruth, for the super sticker. I appreciate that so much. Um, that that will prove that um you know 
the way that they talk in front of these kids, the way that that's not good for children. First off, you're exposing them to uh, sexual language. You're exposing them to sex. Here's the thing. June, your daughter, Anna, mind you, at eight years old, was molested by your boyfriend. She was exposed to that. She, that happened to her. And now here you are exposing her daughter to that type of language, to that type of feel. Okay? So listen. A lot of people is like, yeah, I don't know why June w would think that she should be able to get custody of Caitlin. And I don't know why either. And I know that Michael legally was not her, you know, blood was not her father. But that is the only father that she has ever known. You know, that is the only father that she has ever known. And in my opinion, that's where she needs to be. She needs to be with her younger sister where she has stability. She lives in a home where people get up and they go to work you know, a normal job. She's not out there in the public to be scrutinized, to be, I mean, I don't think, you know, someone her age, you know, being thrown on a TV show is a good idea. We don't know what that could do for her mentally, especially with everything that she's going through. I just think that's not a good idea. Um, but I do want to go back to the fact that this is not the first time that we've seen Josh behave this way. Okay. Um, you guys remember a while back, before Bentley even turned one, Bentley was almost one. I wonder if Pumpkin would let her talk to Ella that way. I don't think Pumpkin would allow June to talk to Ella that way, but I do think Pumpkin would, would allow Josh to talk to Ella that way because we've seen Josh talk to Bentley that way. And that's what we're going to watch. Um, gosh, when was this? This was five months ago. I was watching Pumpkin on a TikTok Live. And Josh went off on Bentley. So let me just tell you guys about this. This was like really when I was like, oh, I'm so done with this family. Bentley was less than a year old. Uh, Pumpkin had just started doing her TikTok lives. She would literally go live in her bedroom at 10 o'clock at night, 10 p.m. And stay live until like 1 a.m., 2 a.m. Now, mind you, Bentley slept in their bedroom. So she would be on a live with a big ring camera, with a big uh, ring light, lighting up the whole end of the bedroom, talking loud like this because, you know, she's on a live and she's trying to make sure people hear. Number 56 or 54, I got this pen. Blah, blah, blah. So she's talking loud while Josh is laying in the bed with Bentley and Josh is trying to get Bentley asleep. But Pumpkin is in the room with the room lit up and talking so loud. So... Uh, he gets really frustrated that Bentley's not going to sleep and he's yelling at Bentley, lay the F down. At one point, he even says like something about wanting to beat the brakes off him or beat the breath out of him or something like that. So where's the real dad? So Michael is the only dad that Caitlin has ever known because Caitlin's, um, you know, biological father has never been in the picture. Okay. So let's watch this clip from five months ago. Okay. Just to kind of give you guys an idea of the way this is not new. And I do think these older clips also can help Michael as well. Be like, listen, if I bring Caitlin into my house, she will be with her sister. It will be a very clean environment. It will be it will be a stable environment. There's not craziness. There's not chaoticness. We're not going live on TikTok every day with thousands of people watching us to, you know, where she will be exposed to, to that. Um, I, I think this could help him greatly. But let's watch the clip from a few months ago. You know. So, that's how that's going to work. You're going to say claim earrings, and then will you tell me? No, no, Baba man. You be sweet to you, Daddy. So, you got these. What's wrong? Your bag of thing. You got Yellowstone. Sun. You got these gold ones. <laughs> Scrubs on. Bun hair up all high. Don't care. They say nurse life. So I got you. You got the nurse ones. You got these blue. The Get in line. Oh my gosh, I need to fix that. I know, baby. 
All right. Claim the baseball. Claim earrings times eight. Lee Campbell. Okay. Let me write your name down and get you a basket. Lee. Lee. You've got this. And then these say have faith. Your shipping fee. And um, your item will not go out. So let me know if y'all want any more earrings. I don't want to play. You just say claim earrings and then let me know. I'll claim one more. Okay. So they're cute, though. Eh? He said, fuck my boy, Bill O'Reilly. Twins, please. Okay, hold on, y'all. I'm going to get to the pins. That's like 100. I just got here. What all do you have tonight? I have earrings. Can we pick which earrings we want? So I'm not letting anybody pick tonight, Daisy, usually because I have so many like this. Um, I'll know that I'll show them to you. Um, Literally so many in you. Living a sweet life, that is so good. Cash out, please. Lee Campbell, okay. Um, this is a duplicate, so I'm wrong, girl. She said no wood ones, please. Okay, girl. Four. So this one has pineapples on it. Those are feathers. No, hell no. Uh, of course he does. Oh, he makes me so fucking mad. He had this little card, but everything's right here. Bubba. Yeah, they're laying down. They're laying down, okay? Lay down. Y'all, I'm so sorry, but it's like, dang, y'all. He be getting up here in my baskets. Okay, so she wants four. Miss Rachel does. Shit. One, two, three, four. Okay. Okay. Kimmy's mama, give me just a second. To Me? What did you ask me? Oh, okay, yeah. Yep, just six, girl. Here, Dada. Sit down. Okay. No, sir. No. I said no. Get in the bed and lay down. Bentley? Don't try me. I don't combine shipping. The shipping is separate, so you send that first. Filling. What are you over here doing? What do you have? Give it to me. What is this? What number did I just say? These are beaded pins, so they write to their pins. What number did I just say? Sons, just sit down, lay down. You may not remember I was on hell. I'm okay, girl. I'm tired. 24. Okay, 25. Beth, what was 26? 
Sorry. Well, because I'm I was already moving on to the next one, baby. Um, Madison, Maddie Payne. I got you, girl. She said the nurse one. Okay, girl. Josh is on it tonight. They said, claim 28, please. Well, you were just bitching about both fans being on. I just said, I said, why are both fans on? Oh, I thought you said, why are both fans on? So I thought you meant that one and that one. The one with flowers. No, no, Bubba. Go sit down. This one? It's Jennifer. I'm just confirming Miss Jennifer wants this one. Yes, okay. So, like, flame 62. Get up. Seventy-eight. Seventy-eight. They're ten dollars a piece. Claim seventy-eight, Miss Kim Elizabeth. Claim eighty, ham and cheese. No, put it back down. Put it down. Put it down. Put it down. Okay. No, I'm gonna pop you again. No, sir. Damn it, Chief. I got you, girl. Those are the cow ones that I do. Have. Lay down, please. They're $10 a piece. No, no. I have her family confirmed. No, go sit down. Go sit down. Go sit down, Bubba's. I'm almost done, baby. I'm literally packaging up order now. Ham and cheese. I got you, girl. Okay. It's Taylor Noble paying for Get up there, we're down. I lay down. I lay down, Bubba. Yeah. Okay, she's confirmed. Where are you going? <laughs> Miss Beth already paid hers as well. Come on, let's lay down. Miss Beth. Come on, you want to lay down with that off? Let me get her, y'all. Yeah. Okay, so this, this is an older video, but I'm showing this to show. Uh, bling bling with a K. It's going to be sixteen dollars, girlfriend. Sixteen dollars for um, ring bling with K. I did get yours, Jennifer. I got you, girl. You're good to go. Bubba, lay down. Okay. Lay down. Sarah. Now. If new and claimed, please fill it. Thank you, Bella. No, Billy is. Y'all hear him crying? I swear. He is on one tonight. Girl, did you get rid of all the cups now? I still have one available. And that's the um, dead inside, but caffeinated. With the cheetah print.
plain hidden lines. Got you, girl. Okay. I got you for that one. Erin hasn't claimed hers, so hers is about to go back up. Lydia. You killed it tonight. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Erin, she did not pay for our order, so it's been that. Okay. So here's the thing. The reason why I show that for anybody coming in and asking, like, hey, is this old? I think I've seen this before. This is an older video that I took about five months ago, okay? Um, Pumpkin was on a live. This is before she got her building. This was when she just started doing her TikTok thing. And she would literally do it from her bedroom. That was her bedroom. So that's where Bentley would be put to sleep at every night. The only thing is she would go live every night. Like my clock said 1021. Like if you could see what time it said on my phone, they are an hour um, ahead of me. So even though it said 10, like 21 on my phone, it was actually 1121 their time. And this went on until like almost midnight, I want to say, um, where he was crying and and Josh was very frustrated. So she would actually go live in the bedroom and then get they would get mad at Bentley if he wouldn't go to sleep. But my goodness, how could you go to sleep? And the reason that I'm showing this is to show that Josh is not like this cool, calm, collected character that we see him on the show. Uh, he has no problem yelling and screaming and cursing at a child a child as young as one i mean this is when bentley was like one bentley hadn't even turned one yet i don't believe and this is you know the way that they were treating him the way you know the yelling and the screaming and the cursing and then there's another i actually have another video where pumpkin was live uh josh was gone i don't know where he was but he was gone hanging out with friends maybe i don't know pumpkin was live on tiktok she put the kids to bed she did put the kids to bed and she started it, but Bentley woke up and he kept coming in the bedroom, coming in the bedroom. And she, at this point, she was selling those um, like uh, keychains that had the big fluffy ball. It had mace. It had like the um, the very sharp, like pokey thing. I don't know what they're called, but these keychains had like six different things on them. And like two of the things were things that children should not be playing with. I mean, mace was one of the things on the keychain. Well, she's like on a live video, like showing things. And then Bentley kind of sneaks in and he's like in the background playing with things. And she didn't see him at first. She's literally, he's Bentley's picking these keychains up, like playing with them. And I remember watching this saying, please, God, please, God, do not let that baby like spray himself with mace. Please, God, please, God. Um, She finally realized that Bentley was in the room because people in the chat was like, Bentley's back there. Bentley's back there. Get Bentley. Yes, yeah, self-defense keychains is what they were. Thank you. Self-defense keychains is what they were. And um, so she would bring Bentley. First, she got Bentley like a, a um, little Debbie cake. And it was literally like midnight. And she gave him like a little Debbie cake. And or, it was a honey bun. It was a honey bun. She gives him a honey bun. He sits back there and he eats half of it. He breaks half of it. He's like stomping on half of it, you know. And then he climbs on the bed. And the bed is full of keychains. And he's playing with the keychains again. And I'm like, please. I mean, I remember my husband's in the chat. I remember like telling my husband like, oh, my God. This kid is literally like going to squirt himself with like mace. This is not good. And um, she ended up like she kept trying to like bring him to his room and he would continue to come. So she ended up like her, their bedroom, from my understanding, used to be like a carport. So there's like a sliding glass that you can shut. So one of the last times she like shut the sliding glass and he comes back and he is literally like trying to pry the, the door open. He sticks his little face in the door and he's like screaming screaming to you know to get in and um he, he is trying his little darndest to maybe she didn't shut it off like she did not shut the live off like she kept bringing him back to his room and at one point after she shut the door you could see him in the living room like running around and i'm like josh is not there josh did end up getting there and he you know took over bentley or whatever but oh my goodness i was just like please just get off the live because you got too much going on if he's awake and he don't come back, that doesn't mean that he's laying down. That just means that he could potentially be playing in the bathroom or playing in the kitchen or God forbid, you know, playing with a toy that could end up hurting him, you know, hurting himself somehow. Um, so yeah, some of these lives you have seen, I've just been like kind of mind blown. Uh, last video, Paramount on Yeah, that last video, um, I appealed it and they put it back up. So my point and the reason I've kind of documented all of this is because they are not the people that we thought they were from the show. 
they definitely lose their temper and they yell and scream and curse at their kids. Something that I don't agree with. Listen, my mom cursed in front of me, but like cursing your kids, especially when they're like one and two, because you are not doing the right thing as a parent. You can't expect your child to go to sleep in a bedroom where they're going to be overstimulated, where there's lights and you're talking loud and, and then you're cursing at them, you know? So, um, yeah, please know these people are in no way a representation of people from the South. Most, most, most people down here do have class and morals. Exactly. Um, so when I saw the video and I'll play it again for anybody that's coming in, um, we'll watch the video of Josh and June getting on to, um, Alana last night. That's the reason that I played it just to show that this is not the first time Josh has behaved this way. This is just like one of the first couple of times that it's been caught on somebody's TikTok because they are on TikTok 24 seven. Um, Josh is Pumpkin's husband. So we'll watch it again really quickly. Oh, and let me tell you guys, I was told this was not the only time he flipped out on her. I was also told later that night, she accidentally woke the babies up and he got mad again and was yelling and screaming. And I was also told that that time she took off crying. So if anybody has that on video, please send it to me at netnet216 at gmail.com because we can show that one as well if anybody does have that. But I did see where they said that Later on that evening, she was kind of being loud and woke the twins up and he was yelling and cursing at her again, so much so that she took off crying. So a cup broke. Uh well stop fucking fucking around. When did the cup break? Yes, I'll throw it away. Uh, Caitlin, take your ass away from the seat. Yeah, don't, no, 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 no. Shit this morning. Never remove the cups around. No wonder the bitch broke because you can't leave shit alone. Go sit down and put your damn hands under your ass. Don't touch nothing else. Damn, y'all can fuck up. We are going to the parks tomorrow and the next day. Fuck up, a, fuck up a metal ball bearing with a rubber mallet. Not really yelling at her. She broke the cup. Like she, she's been pouring cups into cups, and these cups are like... Her ass was over here so fucking thin. with the same thin-ass wine glass. It's a thin said, glass. I said, Caitlin, I said, you know, if you fuck up and you touch the sink wrong, it'll break, right? Yeah. She's like, then I'll just leave it alone. That was this morning. Look, at she's over here now. She done broke the shit. The wine glass is even very... And ain't nobody yelling, but we don't soft parent over here neither. I'm not going to give you just crackers and cheese every time you make a mistake. <laughs> Definitely not. And breaking somebody else's shit is a mistake. Isn't that right, Caitlin? Hey, over here fucking around. Be look. Yeah. You're be all right, guys. If you saw parent, that's on you. If, it if you're offended by it, I can't help it. Because I can't tell you how many times I didn't cuss at my own fucking kids. You know, I've already I've already cussed at my own fucking kids. I promise you that. She had everything with a bubble gun. Okay. So, yeah, if you'll do that, here's the thing. If you'll do that on a TikTok and 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 read her to filth like that, to filth like that in front of people, how would he treat her behind the scenes when nobody's watching? So that's the things that bother me and really make me wonder, like, if he talks to his children like that, how will he talk to them when nobody's around and watching? You know what I'm saying? So I just personally do not think that these that Caitlin would be. I don't think it's best for her to be with you. I mean, first off, they're so unstable. They're always do here, there, all over the place. She's, you know, they're always on live. They're literally always on TikTok live. They're going to have her on the show. She's going to grow up being in the spotlight, which, you know, kids may think that's what they want, but kids will grow up and deal with a lot of struggles from that. And if I'm saying a lot, I do apologize. I mean, Caitlin. Caitlin. Um, but yeah, Reddit, I did see... Um, People saying that she alleged. Oh, here's another. Let me show y'all this. Oh, and here's the thing. You guys remember when June and Gino broke up and June came to Pumpkin's house and she's like, well, I don't know what I'm going to do. Me and, me and, um, me and, you know, Gino broke up and I can't see. And so Pumpkin's like, well, why don't Jesse move in with you? Jesse's living with me. I really don't have room for her. You need some. June cannot even take care of herself if she doesn't have a man there. 
God forbid June and Justin split up. June can't take the job. So legally, June cannot take, like, June cannot take care of Caitlin because June cannot take care of June. June needs Justin to take care of her and Caitlin. And Justin is not in any way, you know, um, he's not any more related to her than, than you know what I'm saying? Like, to me, it's like, it's not down to Mama June and, and Michael because June is unfit. June cannot see the drive. June needs someone to take care of her. Oh, well, you know, she's got Justin. Okay, well, Justin's not related either by blood, just like Michael is. And if people want to say that, look, well, Michael's not blood related. June is her grandmother. Yeah, but June legally can't take care of herself. She needs somebody there to take care of her. She can't see the drive. She. So I'm like, if, if anything, that tells you there that I wonder what Gino thinks of all of this. I don't know. I don't know. Um, how old is Anna's child that is with June now? 11. Um, but here, June, look at this. The baby's climbing out of the, and June's sitting there on a live. Let me tell you something. When you're on a live, you see you and what's behind you. You see that. Why are you not seeing that baby climbing out of the, the, the high chair back there behind you? Um, so, I mean, June doesn't even pay attention to what goes on around her. From my understanding, June stays up half the night, sleeps half the day. Do I think Justin is nice to Caitlin? I think Justin is nice to Caitlin, but Justin is not Caitlin's dad. Justin is someone that Caitlin has only known for like a year and a half versus Michael, who she's known as far back as she can remember. You know, um, we'll look over this Reddit thing really quickly because I am seeing what people saying about the, I did see that. So I'm going to, um, I think this is it. No, that's Josh. Thank you, babe. Thank you. Where is it at? Okay, okay. This is where they're saying June was snorting something on a live. I don't know if she is or not, you guys, but y'all can see it. They have no so fucking crazy to me. Like, people be speaking on my name that ain't even fucking around. How are you doing? on my name, like, G fuck. Like, you still trying to be relevant when you ain't relevant. Okay, did y'all see that? That's where people were saying that she snorted something online. I don't know if that's what she did. Um, yeah, I don't know. They shit is so fucking crazy to me. Like, people be speaking on my name that ain't even fucking around. How are you doing? June, hold on. Let me just say something. And I do know June is blind. So she has to get super close to the phone to read. So that may have been what she was doing. She's like very close to read. But June, you were like almost 50. Why are you saying Deepa? Like, listen, listen. When you become a certain age, if you say those things, you only appear, I don't know, to, to be like, you stupid. <laughs> it sounds stupid for someone of our age, like 30 and above. To say these kid things, Deepa, like, no, 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 like, no cap, like, what? Like, that, that, that's a 
children talk. And when you start talking like that, it tells the tale of you just trying to be cool. And you're not. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, stop that. Are you still trying to be relevant when you ain't relevant? Um, so yeah, I didn't even see the part this time. I didn't see the part where they said I know there's like a slow mo part as well. Let me see. Josh yelling. There's the video. I think they said there's like a slow mo. Okay, here's the slow mo. Hold on. Can you guys see that? I, I can't even. Hold on. I don't know. Um, it could appear that she was snorting. She came up and like wiped her, like, uh, you know, and she's talking 90 to nothing. But here's the thing I talk 90 to nothing as well. And I don't take anything, never have. So I don't know if that necessarily, I will I will tell you, there's been times I've heard June talking so quickly that she, what she is saying doesn't even make sense. Does that make sense? Like earlier when she was talking about the cups, she said something that didn't make sense. Um, hands on your ass, don't touch nothing else. Damn, we are going to the parks tomorrow and the next day. Fuck up a metal ball bearing with a rubber mallet. Not really yelling at her. She broke a cup. Like she, she's been pouring cups into cups, and these cups are like. She's been pouring cups into cups, and these cups are like. She's been she's been pouring cups into cups, and the cups are like. And I'm like, what? Um. So yeah, I don't know. I definitely think this clip of Josh Ellen and Caitlin can be used. If anybody has the clip where Caitlin woke the twins up by accident and he yelled and screamed at her, please send it to me because we can talk about that. I just, you know, Michael is not in the public eye. He has a very, from everybody that I've talked to, says he, he lives a very, like, normal lifestyle. They work. They have normal jobs. And they just are a normal household, from my understanding. And this was the first Christmas, you know, since Anna passed and little Kylie woke up on Christmas morning. I'm sure excited because it was Christmas morning, but she woke up without her mom and without her sister. And I just think that's unfortunate that June, for whatever reason, is trying to keep Kylie. I mean, Caitlin, when she didn't even raise her other children. And also people asking about Justin, does he have a record? Well, yeah, he has a record. Because there is actually video of him getting arrested earlier this year. Or maybe it was last year. I think it was February of 2022 for a warrant. He's been arrested before that. So June and Justin have been arrested. Michael has not. So I, a lot of people are like, oh, I think Michael's going to get custody. There's some people saying, I don't think Michael will get custody. But I really do think Michael has a good chance of getting custody of Caitlin. Um, just for the pure and simple fact that he is the only father that she's ever known. There's a few things. Okay. So, um, yeah, June needs someone to take care of her, her. Her. So how can she take care of her granddaughter? I was told from this person's understanding that just, we know that June doesn't have a license, but I was also told that Justin may not have a license either. So if she, if, if neither one of them have a lot, have a license, then they definitely don't need to, you know what I'm saying? Like, they're riding around illegal. Um, also, on a live stream not too long ago, um, it was Justin mentioned about Kylie sleeping in the bed with him. So if that's true, if that is true, not Kylie, Caitlin. If I ever hear Justin say that Caitlin is sleeping in the bed with him, whoa, whoa. And this is not because I'm trying to accuse Justin of being anything, but June, we, who knows? June literally was living with a guy, leaving her children home alone with him for her to go to work. They were dating. And while she was going to work, he was molesting her eight year old child. So, um, no, no. If I, if something like that had happened to my daughter, 
there's no way in hell I would let her in bed with me and my husband. Just, out of, you know what I'm saying? Like, so yeah, I don't know. This is wild if she is sleeping in the bed with them. That's super inappropriate. Um, and that, I'm not trying to accuse Justin of anything. To be quite honest, for the most part, I like Justin. Like, I've been on his lives. He has gotten a little more defensive lately, but that kind of comes with the territory. Uh, earlier in, oh yeah, Michael's seeing this for sure. I'm sure Michael and his attorney, they're keeping notes on all of this, I would have to imagine. Um, but when Justin first came to be with June and started his TikTok, he was super, super, super nice. Now he is a little cocky and a little defensive. Um, like the other day, somebody was saying something and he got really smart with them and started dancing. And it was like, yeah, that's right. Um, oh, he's like singing about going to hit it from the back, hit it from the back. E uh, and then somebody said something about his jewelry and he's like, yeah, check out that roll. Like, uh, check out that Cartier. Car I don't know. Like he's gotten a little cocky, but I do think after time when you're on like a platform and you get a lot of hate, it can kind of turn some people that way, like super defensive and some people a little cocky. So it's sad to say that that's what it's doing to him. Um, but I will say that I used to like him. Um, right. Excuse me. Why is a child, a young girl sleeping in the bed with a man not related to her after what happened to Anna? Right. Also, there was a TikTok that Justin was doing where he was like checking her shower water. Like she, she was supposed to be taking the shower. And he's like, hold on. Let me come check your water. Make sure it's not too hot. And people's like, hold up. If anybody should, should be checking her shower water, it should be June, not you. Um, but she should be old enough to test out her water herself. You know what I'm saying? So did Anna's father lose parental rights? Did Anna's father? Because why is it she with him automatically? You mean Caitlin's father. Did Caitlin's father lose? So Caitlin's father is a guy named um, Caleb Clark. Uh, that's been put out there by the outlet. Anna and Caleb dated for like three years. Uh, at the end of those three years, she came up pregnant. She told Caleb and Caleb's mom that she was pregnant. But then she told Caleb and Caleb's mom that she had cheated on Caleb and the baby was probably not his. When she, they had ended up breaking up because she went back to live with June because the, they got the show. So she moved in with June. June, she had been estranged from June for several years. But when June was going to get the Here Comes Honey Boo Boo show, June contacted Anna and was like, come back home. I'll buy, like, I'll buy you a house. Um, and probably, she was probably going to buy her, like, you know, a smaller starter house or something like that. But from my understanding, there was a few reasons June wanted Anna home. They were going to have this reality TV show. And Anna was pregnant. Teen pregnancy makes for good television. Also, if Anna was living with June's mom, and not June, people would ask questions. Why is your daughter living with your mom and not you? And then people might come to, come to find out that it was because Anna moved out whenever June's boyfriend assaulted her. And June called her a liar and said, no, why are you doing this to me? Why are you trying to ruin my life? Mark would never hurt you. You know, so she didn't want people to question why Anna didn't live with her. And she thought teen pregnancy, teen pregnancy would make for good television. So she got Anna back living with her. Um, that put Anna and her boyfriend, Caleb, uh, like an hour or so away from each other. He did go and visit her a couple of times. Um, she wanted Anna and June wanted Caleb to be on the show. Caleb did not want any part of the show. Caleb did not want any part of June. Um, he didn't like the things that Anna went through with June, from my understanding. So they ended up breaking up. When Anna had Caitlin, he did go to the hospital the next day. And there was talks of a paternity test. And June said, because Caitlin was like, we can get a paternity test done, you know, since you did admit to sleeping with somebody else. And June said, oh, we'll just go through child support court to have it done. And then the cameras were coming to film. So Caleb left. And then over time, like, through pictures, Caleb did not think that, the, that Caitlin was his, okay? So it was only up until recently, from my understanding, that he started thinking, well, you know, you know. And, and um, the other guy allegedly took a DNA test, and they found that out as well. They found out that allegedly the other guy 
took a DNA test and that was negative that he was not the father. So now from understanding Caleb is kind of like, okay, well maybe, maybe I am. Um, but here's the thing. If Caleb comes forward and does a DNA test and he's the dad, he legally has some sort of rights. He's next to Ken. He has rights to Caitlin, Caitlin. And he can say, well, I want to sign my rights over to Michael, the only father that she's ever known. From my understanding, that's my understanding of what could happen. Anyways, you guys, we are going on an hour. Um, Justin tells Caitlin, don't undress while he fixes the water temperature. June doesn't get up to care for Caitlin till the afternoon per June. And Justin, thank you, silly rabbit. Thank you. Um, Yeah, that's the thing is, June, if you're sleeping until, you know, noon, one, two, three. And I don't want to sound like I'm, I'm portraying Justin to be this because I'm not. I don't think he is. But the whole reason something happened to Anna is because June just literally trusted Mark McDaniel around her children. And look what happened. So you're sleeping until, you know, noon, one, two, three. And your your granddaughter is up with your husband, who your granddaughter has only known for about a year and a half or so. So once again, you are trusting, you know, men around your granddaughter. So I don't know. To me, it's just like, all right, what does Sugar Bear say? All right, uh, let me see if I can find it. Uh, Sugar Bear's statement about Anna's passing. Um, he allowed me to post a statement on my uh he allowed me to post a statement i put it on my tiktok i'll find it real quick and we'll watch it we'll look at it why is something going wrong come on pull it up all right uh, all right, so this is Sugar Bear's statement. Hopefully you guys can see it. Um, okay. I've been heartbroken since... Stop that. I've been heartbroken since hearing about the passing of Anna. The world got to know her as Chickadee years ago on the family's reality show, Here Comes Honey Boo Boo. Before and during those years, I got the honor of being a part of her life somewhat as a father figure to her. After her divorce, Anna and her two daughters moved in with me and my then wife, Jennifer, for several months. For those years and all the time I got to be a part of Anna's life, I will forever be grateful and cherish the memories I have with her. Anna was a sweet girl who had an excitement for life. Unfortunately, her life was cut too short, which seems unfair to me. I'm saddened for Anna's family. I know they are devastated right now. I'm saddened for Anna's two young daughters, Caitlin and Kylie. I will continue to pray for her family, especially her two young children, as I have been for the last few months. I hope the family can find peace during this devastating time. Sugar Bear. So that was his statement. So, um, yeah, drugs or not, June doesn't need history because that just goes to show that she is trusting whoever around her granddaughter. So, yeah. Um, anyways, you guys, leave me your thoughts in the comment section below. If anybody does have the video from where he was yelling and screaming at her um, for waking the twins up, please send it to me. My email is netnet216 at gmail.com. It's also in the description box. Um, but we're going to keep up with the situation. June filed for and got temporary custody, but the only reason she got temporary custody is because the judge's thoughts was, well, her mom died and she don't have a dad, so she needs to be with someone. Uh, the judge was not aware that she absolutely has a dad, um, you know, Michael, even though he's not her biological father, he is the man that is taking care of her. A week on, a week off. Michael was not every other weekend. He had the girls for a week and had the girls for a week. He had the girls for a week and had the girls for a week. So. 50 50 is you know what they had um anyways you guys yeah pumpkin has twins anna does not have twins anna's daughters are 11 and uh eight 
You guys leave me your thoughts. We have 600 people on here. We'll continue to, you know, keep up with the situation going on between Michael and Mama June. So make sure you are subscribed to this channel if you want to follow this. Uh, you can follow me on TikTok as well. I have other social media accounts. And give this video a thumbs up. And I will see you guys back here in the next one. Bye, guys.